For today's lesson, we will be discussing about amortization. Amortization is a gradual extinction of a loan over a period of time by means of a sequence of regular or equal payments as to principal and interest due at the end of equal intervals of time. So we have to take note of the term gradual extinction of a loan. So that means as we pay, as we have the regular or equal payments, our loan will gradually extinct or gradually reduce in value. So that is what we call as amortization. We can also refer to it as the installment payment of the loan and the process of spreading out or gradual repayment of the loan. So let's say you have to pay this particular amount for 25 years. So we are spreading it into different payment um, periods with equal amount to be paid. Now we have what we call as the amortization schedule. So we can create the amortization schedule for us to see how much are we going to pay for each period or periodic payment and how much of it will go to the interest, how much will be repaid to the principal. So in order for us to create the amortization schedule, we have to follow the following. So in an Excel, you have to write there in column A, period, column B is the periodic payments, so which we will be computing later on. C is the interest at percent due at the end of every time frame. Column D, amount repaid to the principal at the end of every time frame. Column E is the outstanding principal at the end of every time frame. So the steps in doing our amortization schedule, first is you have to calculate the periodic payment and complete column B with this periodic payment. So to solve for the periodic payment, we will be following this formula. So P refers to the periodic payment. Then we have here PV, which is the present value. I refers to periodic rate. which can be solved by dividing the rate over the number of compounding periods, which is M. And then N here refers to the number of conversion periods, which can be solved by multiplying T and M. T refers to the time in years, and M is again the compounding period. So we will be using this. This will be uh, used to compute for the periodic payment or the amount that we have to pay for each period. Or this is also the amortization. After that, you have to fill up column C by calculating the interest using I equals PRT. So we have to identify the interest of the previous outstanding principal so that we can identify what will be the interest. After that, fill up column D by subtracting column C from column B. In short, you just have to subtract the interest from the periodic payment. And the answer to that, that's the one that you will put in column D. Now, the answer in column D, you have to subtract it to column E so that we can identify how much will now be the remaining outstanding principal. So later, you will see in our Excel how are these things going to happen. Now, let's construct the amortization schedule. So let's say a startup company, Chromosome Entertainment, borrowed a loan of 2 million pesos for their capital. They have to repay the loan at the end of the year for 5 years at 6% interest compounded annually. Construct the amortization schedule. So in order to construct the amortization schedule, we have to identify the things that we need. First is the present value or how much loan do we have here. So. 2 million pesos is the amount of loan borrowed by the chromosome entertainment. And then they have to repay the loan at the end of every year or at the end of the year for 5 years at 6% interest compounded annually. So those are the things that we have to consider in order for us to solve for the periodic payment. So before we can proceed with doing our amortization schedule, of course you have to solve first for the periodic payment. So to do that, we will be following the formula P equals PV, present value times the periodic rate 
all over 1 minus 1 plus i raised to negative n. So, negative n is the, again, number of conversion periods. So, PV, so that is 2 million pesos. And then I, we will compute this using R over M. R refers to the rate, so that is 6%, but we have to write it in decimals. So that will be 0 0.06 divided by M, which is 1. Now, M is equal to 1, so that means there's num the number of compounding periods is just 1 because it is compounded annually. So therefore, I is 0 0.06. And then for N... Just have to solve this by multiplying T by M. So T is 5 since the company needs to pay the loan for 5 years times M which is 1. So we have 5. Substitute these values to the formula so that we can solve for the periodic payment. So 2 million times 0 0.06 divided by 1 minus 1 plus I is 0 0.06 raised to negative 5. Now, compute this using a calculator. So, we will have 474,792.80. So, this is now the periodic payment that the company needs to pay every compounding period or every period. So, what we will do is let's now create the amortization schedule. Okay, so now let's uh, create now the amortization schedule. So as you can see, we now have the columns here. Now for the period, we have to put here how many uh, periodic payments are there. So since the company needs to pay yearly for five years, that means there should be five periodic payments. And what I will do is I will start with zero so that later on I can put the outstanding principal at the beginning. So zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Then we know for the zero, the period zero, that means it's just the beginning. We have to put here the amount that the company loaned in the bank. So we have... 2 million pesos. And then, we will write here in the periodic payment the amount that we computed a while ago, which is 474,792.80 pesos. So, that's the one that they will put here. And, we will copy this. So, it will be, it should be the same for all our periods. Now, to start this, what you will do is, you have to get first the 6% interest of the previous out standing principal. So in this case, since we're just starting, so we will start with 2 million. So I'm getting the 6% of this. So I will multiply that to 0 0.06. That will give me 120,000. That means for the first payment of 474,792.80 pesos, 120,000 of it will go to the interest. Okay. Now, to identify how much will be paid to the outstanding principal, all you have to do is to subtract the periodic payment and the interest. So, whatever is left, in this case, is 354,792.80 pesos. That will now be the amount to be paid or deducted to your outstanding principal. So, to do that, let's just subtract 2 million and the remaining amount. And that will give us 1,645,207.20 pesos. So at the end of one year, this is now your outstanding balance. So from your payment of 474,000, 120,000 of it will go to the interest. So you will do the same thing for the rest of the sales here. And at the end, we should have zero as outstanding principal. That means we're able to pay the loan. So let's continue this. This time, I will be getting again the 6% of the remaining or the previous outstanding balance, which is in this case is 1,645,207.20 pesos. Multiply it to 0 0.06. So there, I'm getting this value. That means for my second payment, 98,712.43 pesos will go to the interest. So we will just deduct again, minus this one. So we now have here the remaining amount, 
and this will now be subtracted to our outstanding principal so this one minus here there so at the end of the second year our balance now will be 1,269,126 pesos point 83 centavos so let's just continue doing this again get the six percent of the previous principal that will be the interest and then you subtract the interest from the periodic payment you will now get the amount repaid to the principal and then to get the remaining outstanding principal just subtract the principal and the amount repaid so you have 870,481.64 so let's just continue doing this until we reach the last part so minus as you notice as we go along as we have more and more uh, periods the interest becomes smaller so why does the interest become smaller because the outstanding principal becomes smaller as well so as you pay the interest here now becomes smaller so we're now at the last part so this one should be get the six percent of that so there we now have this one this came from um, the difference of these two values here now as you notice this two now have the same values so that means if I subtract I will get zero now since we have here now zero as the value at, at our last periodic payment that means we're able to pay now the loan so after five years as we pay continuously and consistently with this particular amount we're able to reach our goal which is to pay for the two million pesos including also the interest so what does this amortization schedule will help us so this will tell us how much money will go to the interest how much money will be deducted to your principal amount this is also helpful if you want to identify how much interest are you going to pay so if you want to do that let's say you're already done with this you can just actually add all of these so this will give you the total interest so if you want to add you can just add these values so let's write here some or you can use calculator so therefore the total interest that you paid for those five years is 373,964 pesos so you know aside from the 2 million pesos you're also paying this huge amount okay because of the interest so the amortization schedule will really help you to determine where is your money going as you pay if for example what you only know is the periodic payment and you don't have the amortization schedule you can still identify the interest how will you do it you can just simply add all of the payments that you made so let's just get the sum of all of these which will be equal to 2 million 373,964 pesos now to get the total interest of this you just have to subtract the outstanding principal from here so if I do that so this one minus the principal I will still get the same value so that means the interest remains the same so you can get the interest using the amortization table so again that's how you create the amortization table so that's it for today I hope you learned something about the amortization and how to create the amortization schedule and see you next time